mighty. But our strength comes not from conquest, but prosperity. From peace, trade, and strong alliances. Thus, our soldiers keep their armor shining and their swords sharp, while the gods of our forefathers guide our future, bringing harmony and unity. The strong foundation on which the tallest towers can be built, from where our gaze can reach the farthest. Others may rule to be feared by many. We shall rule to be remembered by all. Hello everyone, Flying Duchy here, and welcome to EU4 Leviathan. We are going to play some patch 1.31. Um, thanks Paradox for the press copy. Um, we will be playing a little bit before the embargo goes away. I think today the game will be out as well. I think I have a couple of hours to show you guys uh, some content before you can get it yourself. And we are going to play as uh, Pohatan Power Horde. Wait, Dutch, do you say Power Horde? You're in America, yes. But I will explain why we are becoming a Horde later on. So we will go to America and show the new tribe mechanics over here. And we were going to play as uh, the Pohatan tribe. The uh, migratory tribe. Um, so yeah, I apologize for my voice. I'm having a cold for six days now and it's still not away uh, completely. It's uh, getting better. So, uh, sorry for my voice, but uh, I really want to put out some content before we are going to get the game for everyone. So, I'm going to call this uh, the Pohatan Horde. Uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. And I will explain a bit of the uh, tribe mechanics here. So, the start will be a bit explanatory only. And we will also, of course, play. But uh, there's not a lot to do as a native tribe at the start of the game. Of course you can go to war, uh, but there are also some negative things about wars that will slower, uh, slow you down later. So, But I will explain how it works when we are into the game. And I think the game for you guys will be out at uh, 3 o'clock, I think. I'm not sure, it's most of the time that the game comes, uh, comes out uh, in the afternoon. So, welcome to uh, America. As you can see, there are a lot of new tags and the borders are very funky. Because, look at our border. We have one province over here, but this is also in our border. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, provinces within our border. Now, what does that mean? These provinces are your tribal land. If you hover over it, you can see that this is the tribal land of Pohatan. And that means that it's uh, controlled in between hooks by us, but we don't get anything from it. The only province that give us, gives us anything is this one in uh, Ohata. Uh, we are a migratory tribe, so we need to migrate to other provinces all the time. We can do this with 15 military power, and that's the first thing we need to do. We are going to focus on military power. Just look at our chief, he sucks. Of course he sucks because I'm recording the video. Wait, is it always the same? I, I'm not sure anymore. Maybe it's always the same, but I don't remember such a bad leader. Um, so yeah, maybe a 50 military power we can migrate. But you don't want to migrate to your own land. You want to migrate to your enemy's tribal land. Why? Well, when you are a migratory tribe you want to get as much tribal development as possible and i'm going to skip this song it's always very loud at the moment we are getting only 0.02 because we are grazing in pohatan which is over here so when our devastation gets to 100 uh, we will not get any tribal development anymore and then we have to migrate now i will mig migrate very soon because i want to, to migrate here or here so then we get more tribal development. And what is this number? Every month a random category grows by 0.02. But if we go to a, a province from an enemy 
or just to other nation, we don't get plus 0.02, we get plus 0.1. So we get five times more tribal development. And when you accumulate this tribal development, later on when we are going to settle, you're going to use this tribal development when you settle your provinces on your tribal land, and they will get distributed. So the more we get from this, the stronger we are when we settle. So I think I will try to settle all the time in the enemy lands. There's also a, a federation mechanic, but in this uh, build, this uh, uh, review build of uh, the patch, it's broken. I hope it will be fixed when the game gets released, because uh, we can invite anyone in the federation and they always leave. No matter what I tried, with Diplo Rep or, or 200 relations, it doesn't matter. Nothing uh, changed. So let's have a look at our uh, rivals here. Uh, Lenape is our rival, which is a shame, because they are in the same culture group. And you really want to have nations in your same culture group in a federation later on. And you get more cohesion. I will show this, because there is another bug that actually helps us. Uh, but for now, we are going to rival our rivals. Uh, we also uh, rivaled with uh, Yoara, which is fine. That's a different culture group, so we will rival you. And we are arrived with Hat Hatta Wekkela. Gonna butcher these names for sure. Uh, we can take a decision. Mm, not yet, because I want to go to stability 1. And maybe then I will pick it. But I'm not sure. We will not take any advisors, because we need money. Because also, the buildings uh, are different. When you uh, migrate, you take the buildings with you. Now... As you can see, irrigation gives more tribal development, so I will try to get this one as quickly as possible. Uh, but also, the monthly reform progress goes up with the ceremonial fire pit. Advisor cost goes down, and I think then I will take an advisor, but not before we get this building. And it costs 200 ducats. That's going to take some time. But luckily, Paradox made a very overpowered new feature with your diplomats, which we will use very soon to get a lot of money. Uh, so after we have the uh, irrigation and the fire pit, we will also get the longhouse to get even more reform progress. And the reform progress will be for the government reforms. And this way, we can settle our nation and become a tribe. Uh, a horde, sorry. We will become step nomads when we do this one. <laughs> and that is why uh, we are becoming a horde. And we are going to charge the Europeans back home with our cavalry. That's, that's, what, that's what we are going to do. Uh, there are no achievements that I want to go for. I have all the achievements uh, except for some native in a random new world. The other ones I already have. So uh, We have an unassigned merchant. Let's have a look. We are, of course, in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we don't get that much... Uh, Trade income, because we don't settle in Chesapeake here for 10 trade power, so... We don't have that much trade power. Uh, can I reach other trade nodes? No. So I cannot put my merchants somewhere else. But we have a free merchants for a bit. Um, yeah, another new thing. You can have war canoes as a native tribe. We are not going to use it. I really don't need it, so I wonder if... Do you want to uh, to take my boat? I can't. Primitive nations can't buy ships. Well, bye. Let's go to our um, force limit. That is something we need to do. And I think we are ready to go. Yeah, so one more time. Uh, we want to get tribal development. We now have one, one and one. And you can see that over here. Uh, the base manpower is two. That's this number. But we have one from the province, which you can't see. But we also have one from our tribal development, which makes a total of two. When we uh, migrate out of this province, we will have one manpower here, two production, and two admin. Because the tribal development adds one to this. So at some point we are going to get eight, eight, and eight. And then these numbers will be added over here. So your only output is of the province you are settled in. Your, you are... Uh, you are using for grazing. That's the only uh, province you get manpower and taxes from. So, until we settle, and that's going to take a long time. 
I think we are ready to go. Uh, let's go to speed 3 for now. Uh, yeah, we need to get our alliances and stuff. It's very important. Um, I will try to ally the enemies of Lenabe, which is Bekot and Mahikan. Yeah. Ally you. I'm gonna ally you. And since we are, and we could change this, since we are a clan council, we have plus one diplo reputation. Uh, diplomatic relation, sorry. Uh, we can also go chiefdom, so we get more tribal development. There it is again. But it costs 50 uh, reform progress, and I prefer to get to 100, so we can uh, maybe get... Well, maybe the reform progress modifier. Or land tradition. Adding tribal land. No, no. We are going for oral tradition so we can get we can go quicker through the, uh, the reforms here. Uh, we are not going to war soon. Because when you have a truce with nations around you... For example, if I go, if I go to war with uh, Tuscarora... Then when the war is over... And they still have tribal land. I cannot graze in the tribal land. And I will be locked in my own territory. Which will slow down the tribal development gain. So, and that is why going to war at the start. In the first 10 or 20 years is not really doing anything. It does do something. But it's, yeah. You will see why. Okay, we have those two alliances. Uh, we could get another one. Okay, we got the rivals of Lenape. And what about your... Wait, who are my rivals again? Who are your rivals? These two, that's not really helpful. And... You have... Now could we ally one of you? No. We could ally you, but... I think at some point I want to eat your land, because you are a wrong culture. You need to go away, you are a, you're the Iroquois culture. I don't like it. Oh look, there's a culture over here. I think I'm gonna stick with these two uh, alliances. Now, what is a federation? I can invite people into the federation, and I will do this. To show you... Yeah, we get CBs, we don't have to make claims. Uh, if I invite my ally into the Federation, uh, I just called it the... Uh, get out Europeans. And when you make a Federation, you normally get Cohesion. But since uh, Pequot is stronger than us, and this number is purely based on your maximum manpower. We have 1049, because we have 1049 maximum. So you can use your manpower, it doesn't uh, uh, change your strength. But since we are weaker than him, we get minus 0.1, uh, 0 0.5 cohesion. So you only want people of your own culture in your uh, federation. Now, maybe later when the Europeans come, this will go... Uh, they are going to stay in the Federation, but I think he's going to leave very soon. And I hope he's going to leave because he is making our Federation very bad. Yeah, and he left the Federation. But what happens now? We are alone in our Federation and we get plus 0.2 monthly. So, <laughs> I don't think this is how it is supposed to work, but we are getting um, extra cohesion on our own. So, <laughs> and when we are at 100, we can pick these... Uh, these advancements and the last one we want to pick is the federal constitution and then everyone that is in a federation will be integrated which is fantastic uh, there is unwide unified warbands we can uh, do a, a federation offensive war uh, we can get more tribal development growth there it is again mutual trust um, I picked this one before in my test run and it didn't give me any favor growth so I don't know, maybe it's not working, or I'm seeing something wrong. Or goods produced, petition for enemies, institution spread, and settle cost minus 20%, which we really want to pick before we are going to settle. When it is at 100, you don't get a pop-up in this build, maybe at the release. I hope so. 
otherwise you will never know you have 100% cohesion. That's how the federation work and I think when the Europeans come that the tribes will actually stay in the federation. At least I hope so. Okay. We have 50 military power. As you can see we now have 1.04. We have uh, 2 ticks into military tribal development. We now make 0.02. We are going to migrate here. We have tobacco because there's tobacco here. And now we are getting 0.1. So we get 5 times more tribal development which we need for later. And we are going to sit in this province until we have 100 devastation. Right now the devastation goes slowly. I don't know where it is based on yet, the 0.25, but the bigger you are, the quicker the devastation growth. At some point, you get 4 devastation each month, so you you need to migrate every 2 years. Because when you're at, one, at uh, 100, you don't get tribal development growth anymore. That's the downside of this uh, system. Okay, we are of course still building uh, our uh, troops. As you can see, this is not by land. This is still part of uh, Tuscarora. We don't take this from him. The only way to take their tribal land is to declare war and ask it in a peace treaty. When we would migrate back to our own land, this would just be part of Tuscarora again. So yeah. Um, let me get to stability uh, 1. We can almost do it. So we can really go to speed 5. Because there's nothing we need to do here. So I'm going to boost this. And then I'm going to get the... Uh, yeah, National Unrest is fine. More Prestige is fine. That's all who nice. And what is this one? We need 20 Army Professionalism and Military Attack 6. We are not going to get that one. Uh, we have a mission tree. Uh, these are just missions for all the nations over here. Uh, I will take a look at them. Uh, we need 12... Transports, I'm not going to do this because we don't need any of these bonuses. Uh, we can have a long house and a fortified house. And then we get some development costs. Now we can't develop our provinces as a native tribe. So this is not really helping us at the start of the game. These are some uh, some some general missions for all the tribes, I think. Uh, Navy stuff again. I mean, this is very nice when we are getting settled. But we don't have to look at these missions. Uh, we need to conquer all these provinces that are highlighted here. We get base manpower in not a way. I, th I think we get it because we are here right now. Get a general. We get claims. We could maybe use. But I think you know, we don't have to focus on this. Uh, we can only get three irrigation when we have three settled provinces. We can only do that when we are a settled tribe and not a, mi a migratory tribe. <coughs> Excuse me for the uh, the voice. It's just not going to go well, I think. But what can I do? Another new feature. We can now use our diplomats to curry favors. <clears throat> we are getting favors on our allies. Uh, you can do this with other nations as well, but um, if you have uh, good relations, you get more favors. We are getting plus 0.25 favors each month. So in 4 months we get 1, so in 40 months we have 10. So every 3 year and a bit, we can use our favors to get money. For 6 months of income, soldiers... Sailors, um, you need 90 favors to get your heir on the throne. So imagine if you're playing Austria and you want to do the PU game, you can just um, um, put your name as an heir everywhere. This, this is going to ruin the game, in my opinion, but we will see if it works or not. Uh, we can get trust, which is still a good thing. Uh, 10 favors ask for to prepare war. You can use 50 favors to make someone break an alliance. You can reduce your opinion with 10 favors. And for you can ask for a core province. Return the core province. So, I don't know. 
if you're playing in uh, in Oceania or in uh, Indonesia or in Japan, you can ask this from Ming. You can get a six month income from Ming. So yeah, and of course, when you go to the diplomatic uh, map mode, you can see your tribal land. Okay, let's play on speed five here. Uh, yeah, we completed the mission to build to our force limit. I'm gonna click that when we are going to war. And I hope I won't forget. Now you can see this is going now a lot quicker. Oh, point one. And you see the devastation going up. Oh, is it just going up by point one every month? Yes! How does that work? I, I didn't know that. Look. This goes up by 0.01. And that is how quickly it goes. And that is how scary it is as well. <laughs> it's going very quickly. Uh, in my test run, yeah, there we go. In my test run I could put a merchant in Ohio, but it doesn't do anything. In my test run he didn't gain any money. Look, 0.00, I don't know why. But it is happening. Now, almost every part of the map is part of a tribe. Except for some spots on the map. And for us, that is over here. These four are not part of any nation. This is part of Lenape, this region. But Conestoga, Patawomac... Ono Yuta and Manaho Manahoak, oh my god, are not part of any nation. Now when we migrate here, we could add this province to our tribal land, just like the ones that we have over here, by spending 100 admin power. We are going to do this, but not right now. I want to get as much tribal land as po uh, uh, tribal development as possible. Now when this number goes to two, we get one extra development. Then we just add one number over here and we make more stuff. Of course, the uh, devastation will make our maximum manpower go lower. Which makes it also harder to uh, get your federation and be the strongest. But there are some buildings, for example, manpower modifier. That will really help to uh, put you back into the strongest position. And of course you want more military development. And that is why this is so important. It's very important to get as much tribal development as possible before you're going to settle down. Now we almost have 10 favors and then I'm going to ask for money. Now which nation will, ha will have the most money over here? Oh damn it. No idea. Because these are all tribes with one province. I could take a look in the ledger. Income. Or not. Country. Stratacona gets the most. Which is over here. Yeah, because they are set they are on a uh, on a estuary. I cannot ally you ally you can I? Uh, maybe. But I only have two diplomats and they are working. I guess we're gonna stay with the two allies we have. And I hope everything will go well. Um, sure. Now we do have CBs, but uh, these are... Uh, I will show it when I have my diplomat. I will show you the CBs we have. So, do we already have uh, two somewhere? No, not yet. Now we have two. You can see here. We have now uh, two from tribal development instead of one. So we make one more production. This is how it will uh, go and go and go. But the devastation goes up with 0 0.01 every month. Oh no, it stopped. It's not linear or something. Well, now it is again. 0 0.01 every, every time.
interesting. And the game is also a bit laggy because there are more tags everywhere. So we will have, we will have to see how it will play out. Come on, give me this one. Yay. Can I have an extra unit? Yep. Thank you, tribal development. Okay, we almost have 10 favors with uh, Mahikan. And I'm gonna bring the diplomat back and ask for money. Then I will show you the new uh, CBs we have. Oh, wait. Stop giving me negative events. Of course I'm recording a video, so it will go very bad again. Uh, yeah, there we go. We have 10 favors. Can we not get... Oh, well, that's okay. Um, there we go. We get 8 money. From 10 favors. Of course we can also increase the trust and stuff, but uh, no. We need money. We want to build the building. So thank you for the money. Now, I will show you the CBs. Uh, we are bordering you, for example. They're allied with two people. And we could use our favors to get Ma the Mahikan and Pequot fighting for us. There's the Humiliate CB, just for humiliation. And there's the Tribal Border Feud. You can take tribal land from our neighbors. And you need to show superiority and just win the, the, win the battles. And for every tribal land, it's around 25 war score so every war you can take four provinces it also gives aggressive expansion there are also more things you can do now with peace deals you can now also pillage the capital so you get development from your enemy into your own province but hey if i would do that right now if i would go to war with tuscarora and i pillage his capital then the development will be distributed on this province which is in his tribal land so i'm helping him so before I do this, I should settle in my own tribal land. Uh, I should migrate to my own tribal land. Not not settle. Migrate. And then take it. Not when I'm uh, doing this. So, we need to watch out for those things. Okay, we can have some money from you. We have 10 uh, favors, so thank you very much. And we will keep doing this. Because we need those buildings for tribal development. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you need to go to influence for this. There we go. So yeah, these are now really lacking behind. These other nations. Because they are not grazing in enemy land. They will do it soon. But I think the AI will only migrate when they have 80 or 100 uh, devastation. And not earlier. Now, is your devastation growth going slower than mine? It is linked to my to this tribal development. Let's have a look. What do we have here? Five. We have seven point one. Mm, I have no idea. Point fifty nine. I have no idea. But I think it has to do something with our tribal development. You have 0.4 growth. I have 0.59, now 0.6. Interesting. Very, uh, very interesting. Of course, when I settle on the Chesapeake, we will get a bit of trade power for a while and we make a little bit more money. Now, when I migrate again, it will be more expensive because we are outside of tribal land for a second time. So if you want to uh, do this re uh, correctly, after you, you did the second one, you want to go back to your own land and then go back to the enemy land again. Because then you don't get the plus the, the times two penalty uh, to migrate out of the tribal land again. And when you do it again, you get a, a times three penalty and you have to spend 100, 150 military power. Which you don't want to do. Now, we could build an irrigation building. I think I will. Um, oh, no, it's, it's 200 ducats, isn't it? Yeah. I 
I think I want to. <coughs> I think I want. I want the tribal development uh, one first. Yeah, I really want that one first. It will make us so much stronger later on. Because when we are going to settle down, we can uh, settle the provinces we are in. And we will spread that development around. I'm going to wait for 200. And I don't think I'm going, go going to go to war. Because I need this province to settle in. To, uh, to graze in after we are done here. We just, have to, we just have to wait. Uh, we do get the age bonuses. Uh, our own idea groups are the Northeastern Woodlands ideas, which are not the best. You can see here. Uh, fort defense, mode culture, manpower recovery, dip reputation, the morale is good. This is okay. And we get more settler increase when we are going to uh, colonize America. And the goal of this run will just be to keep the Europeans out as much as possible with our horsies. I don't know how we get horsies, but apparently we get horsies. And we are going to try to conquer North America, I think. That's going to, going to be the goal. And I think I will put a cut in this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. And I, once again, I'm sorry for my voice, but I can't help it. Uh, the next video will be uh, live very soon. I think I'm going to release three videos on release day, that is today. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.